Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 57 in chapter 8. In this one, we can see we have the planet or satellite. Uh, it moves, it does a circular motion around the Earth in these two circles, right? R1 and R2. Now, we need to find the external work need to move the, this satellite from R1 to R2. So how can we solve this problem? We consider the conservation of energy. And the conservation of energy, so first thing we find is the energy need in R1, then energy need in R2, and then we can find the extra energy. So first one, we find energy for a circular motion planet. First one, we can see this must include the kinetic energy and the potential energy. So first one, let's find the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is one half mv squared, agree? So we need to find v squared. How can we do that? We consider this planet do the circular motion. The central force is a gravitational force equal to mass times the central acceleration. In this way, we can get the key kinetic energy equals this term. And also the potential energy is come from this equation, where you which you can find on your test book. Now, the total energy for the circular motion planet E plus U equals to this one. Agree? Yes. Now, if we can find the energy at the R1 and also energy at R2, and this is the energy required for R1 plus R2. Agree? So, in this one, you can see we input the quantity, the terms E1 at zero, E2 at zero. This is a delta E. Now we input R1, R2 inside, and we can find delta E equals to this term. Thank you.